Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new showcase, and this time I want to share with you all what I have painted on Necromunda. Uh, I don't have here all the pieces of terrain, I just put some of them as example. I paint all what was coming in the starter kit, the last one, and I also have the old metal um, Escher Warband plus Madonna Belladonna and one, uh, yeah, this guy here that was like a type of shaman or uh, yeah, was, he was summoning beasts. Okay, so let's go zoom in and go from left to uh, to right what we have here. So this is the very old Escher Warband. Uh, this is from the 90s and this is was painted about um, from by me about 20 years ago, even more. So it was one of the paint jobs. I really went um, very individually for each one. Uh, I was start playing with different skin tones. You can see there is one with darker skin tone there. Uh, I was also playing to try to do makeup on the miniatures and uh, go for very fancy uh, colors on the hair. Uh, the warband had, uh, at that time, there were th um, three levels of warband, four levels, sorry. We used to have the leader, that was this lady here. Then we used to have the one that could carry heavy weapons, that is. It's not very visible, let me just show you. It's there at the back with the heavy stubber. Okay, so it's this lady here. I will move this back. So you can see, this was the heavy um, one, the heavy uh, support uh, way, also the heavy um, ganger. And then we have the normal gangers and the newbies. And the newbies were the ones, uh, or the rookies were are the two, uh, it's, it's, Slime ladies at the back, the little ones, okay? So uh, this was, uh, and then we had this one that was like a mercenary that you can, so it was uh, like the Monty Hunters today. Uh, she was called Madonna Belladonna. I'm not sure he's available anymore, maybe they changed the name. Uh, and yeah, this was what I used to play with. Then here we have the recently launched, or recently maybe two years, three years away. I don't remember now when Necromunda was launched. But here we have, the uh, plastic Escher Warband. This is all what is coming in the starter kit, so you can make a Warband of 10. It's more than enough to play. Uh, we have the leader in the middle, then there is two uh, veterans, one and uh, the two next uh, to the leader, and then we have the normal um, Warband ladies. So there is not any, any more the newbies. Uh, I went also, for, uh, here I went for a current color, yellow uh, breastplate, and then uh, the trousers, uh, dark trousers and each one have their own fancy color for the hair. Okay, so here you see. So here we have all with their own fancy colors. Also some of them have some makeup or what we can call it brittle paints. Okay. Then here we have some of the terrain from Necromunda. This is the tentacle that you can put. That you have the display. You have uh, some of the panels as well. I forgot to share the door, so you can see. And then we have there another of the dolls. So I try to do with this weather. Here Look we here. have the Goliath Warman. Okay, uh, all as well with the own fancy hair colors. I like this li uh, look like of the punk of the 80s on them. So I went for as well uh, as all the other Warmans for different color of the skins. But then in, in that case, I. Differ I follow the same yellow, a different yellow. So you can see this a yellow with some orange shading on this on, on these ladies, okay. And this one is more uh, uh, I would say flat yellow in a way, more brown maybe, uh, and then with some um, uh, uh, chip paint uh, effects on them and scratches and so on. Uh, the one I really like is the one with the pale skin. I think it have a very nice contrast. I also like the whole uh, the the leader looks like. So it was a fancy uh, warband to paint as well. And then here we have a metal miniature. Uh, this was like a, a beast summoner or something like that. I don't know how this arrived to my collection, but I I also painted this uh, this one quite a while ago. So here you have. Uh, and it, go, it goes with this type of bats that have like a, a skeleton outside, so the skeleton looks like visible of these bats. These are special creatures that used to be uh, there for Necromunda. I don't think they are exist anymore, 
So uh, maybe I will use him as a bounty hunter if I have to use it today. Uh, you can see in the old uh, times I was using uh, this type of industrial look for the bases, but now I went for this new look, black rim, uh, and the reason is you have to mark what is in front. And here, of course, on these bases or in these ones, you cannot mark what is the front. So I will need to do maybe a marking, red marking, something like that to mark it if I want to use them in the game. Or just ignore that rule. Uh, so, well, not no, but uh, just do an estimate, something like that. So this is all the, my collection of Necromunda here in one picture. Uh, of course, I have more terrain painted, I have more barricades, like the one in the front. Uh, I, I paint all the terrain that was coming in the starter set, I just put here some examples. I think I also forgot to mention the console there. So I paint all the consoles and I think it's quite fun to paint all this type of um, little tiny terrain pieces. So here you have, uh, I hope you have liked this one, uh, this is the my Warband of, uh, or not Warband, my collection of Necromunda, and, yeah, and that's all for now, so uh, as usual, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and now enjoy some pictures, I will make close up pictures so you will be able to enjoy them. That's all for now, as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later, bye!